Today, we will show you how to install the Reese Outboard Custom Quick Install Mounting Kit with included outboard fifth wheel rails, part number 56034-53 into a 2016 Ford F-150 with a six and a half foot bed. The Reese Outboard Custom Quick Install Mounting Kit with included outboard fifth wheel rails, part number 56034-53 includes the Reese Outboard Mounting Brackets, part number 56034, as well as the Reese Outboard fifth wheel mounting rails, part number 30153. For a complete list of compatible part numbers, as well as a complete, full-color, step-by-step instruction sheet for this installation, visit reeseproducts.com. To prepare for and ensure a quick, quality installation, be sure to check all the part numbers against the part list included with the instructions. This will also help familiarize yourself with the parts in the kit. During this installation, we will be using the following tools. For the sake of the video, we will lower the spare tire. This will also provide more room when installing the kit. This video shows the outboard bracket being installed to the rails in the bed of the truck on the driver's side of the vehicle. Repeat the same installation steps with the outboard bracket and rails on the passenger side of the vehicle. Begin the installation by applying the isolator strips to the bottom of the Reese bed rails. These isolator strips will protect against galvanic corrosion by preventing the steel of the bed rails from coming into direct contact with the aluminum bed. We are now ready to measure where the rails will be located in the bed of the truck. Place the rear mounting rail in the bed of the vehicle and using your measuring tape, center it from left to right. For this 6 foot 5 inch bed, we will measure 28 and 5 16 inches from the rear edge of the truck bed to the rear of the rail. For trucks with an 8 foot bed, please refer to the provided installation manual for proper measurements. Using the rail as a guide, mark and center punch the five holes for the rail. Next, move the rail out of the way and drill each position through the bed with a 1 8 inch drill bit. Before drilling, check underneath the truck bed for any potential risk to the vehicle's components, such as brake lines and fuel tanks. Make appropriate safeguards to protect them from damage. After drilling the pilot holes, we will need to loosely install the frame brackets to the frame of the truck. This is to ensure that the pilot holes of the rails align with the bolt holes of the frame brackets. Before installing, be sure to place the provided galvanic isolator squares over the flat steel surface of the frame brackets that will come into contact with the aluminum truck bed. Use a knife to slip the isolators covering the holes for the mounting bolts to allow for bolt access. Working in the rear wheel well of the truck, insert the coiled end of the provided pull wire through the truck's rear mounting hole and out the back of the provided access hole on the inside of the frame. Next, thread a pull wire through a spacer block and attach a half inch carriage bolt to its coiled end. Push the attached hardware back through the frame's access hole and pull the pull wire back through the frame so that the attached bolt threads through the rear mounting hole. Next, thread the pull wire through the rear mounting hole of the outboard frame bracket and place the bracket to the frame. Remove the pull wire from the carriage bolt and fasten with the provided half inch conical washer and nut. With the frame bracket held in place, we can now move to the forward mounting hole. Insert the coiled end of the pull wire through the forward mounting hole of both the outboard frame bracket and the truck's frame. Again. Push the pull wire out through the back of the access hole on the inside of the frame. Thread the pull wire through a provided circle block and attach a half inch carriage bolt to its coiled end. Push the attached hardware back through the frame's access hole and pull the pull wire back through the frame so that the attached bolt threads through the forward mounting hole. Remove the pull wire from the carriage bolt and fasten a provided half inch conical washer and nut. Now, we need to check that the 1 8 inch drilled pilot holes from earlier align with the slots of the frame bracket. Once it has been determined that the holes align, enlarge the 1 8 inch drilled holes to 9 16 inch. If needed, 
file the edges of the newly drilled holes and apply a coat of touch-up paint to help prevent against rust. Next, reposition the rear mounting rail over the newly enlarged holes. After the mounting rail has been repositioned, we will install the 2-inch carriage bolts and place U-shaped spacers in the corrugation between the bed and the mounting rail. Be sure to use two U-shaped spacers stacked on top of one another. These spacers can be held together when applying the provided galvanic isolator squares. Be sure to use a knife to slip the isolator squares to allow for mounting bolt access. Working back underneath the truck, attach the rear mounting rail to the frame bracket using the half-inch conical washers and hex nuts. Tighten the nuts until snug to keep the mounting rail from moving. Now it's time to position the second mounting rail in the truck bed. We will do this by taking the fifth wheel legs assembled to the cross member and placing them into the rear mounting rail. Position the forward mounting rail so that the tabs on the legs of the fifth wheel hitch insert into its fifth wheel mounting slots. Once the legs are positioned, ensure that the forward mounting rail is centered in the bed of the truck, then push it towards the rear mounting rail. This will position the rail in the correct location to ensure that the fifth wheel hitch will have a snug fit to the truck. Mark and center punch the five holes in the forward mounting rail, then move the rail out of the way and drill the five pilot holes. After the pilot holes have been drilled, check underneath the truck to ensure that the newly drilled pilot holes align with the mounting holes in the frame bracket. Once alignment has been confirmed, enlarge the pilot holes to 9 16 inch. If needed, file the edges of the newly drilled holes and apply a coat of touch-up paint to help prevent against rust. After all drilling is complete, move the rail back into position and install it using the stacked U-shaped spacers, galvanic isolator squares, and half-inch fastening hardware. Make one final check using diagonal measurements to ensure that the rails are square to one another. Now you are ready to tighten all of the hardware to final torque specification, as indicated in the installation manual. Starting with the hex nuts that fasten the center of the mounting rails to the truck bed, torque all nuts to 110 foot-pounds. Next, torque the hex nuts fastening the rails to the mounting brackets through the truck bed to 110 foot-pounds. Finally, move to the fasteners that attach the frame brackets to the vehicle frame and torque all nuts to 110 foot-pounds. To finish the install, replace the spare tire. That wraps up the installation of the Reese Outboard Custom Quick Install Mounting Kit with included outboard fifth wheel rails, part number 56034-53. For more information on this and other great products from Reese, visit reeseproducts.com. Reese, pioneering performance.